In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize URL lists within Sitebulb. URL lists are how bulk level URL data is presented in Sitebulb. And this is what a URL list looks like. Adding and removing columns. This little feature is often overlooked or missed by many users, but you can use it to literally add whatever columns you want to appear within your URL list. You just need to hit the add and remove columns button to customize this. When you've clicked the button, you'll be presented with two columns, available and selected. The available column is all items that are available for you to add into your URL lists, whereas the selected column shows all the items that you currently have shown in your URL list. You can click on any item in the list to add it to the selected column. Likewise goes for the selected column. If you click any item in there, it will be removed back to the available column. Each item is also grouped into a broader category. So if you click on the category heading instead of the individual item, you can add and remove entire categories. Now I'm going to head back to the URL list. Sorting URL lists. This one is pretty intuitive. Just click on any column heading to sort the list by that data point. In an ascending fashion, click it again to sort it by descending. You can also do it using the three little dots, like so. Sitebolt's filtering system can apply a quick URL filter very easily and can also be configured to apply a much more complex multi-layered filter. To use the quick filter, simply type the part of the URL in the path you wish to filter on and hit return. To get going with advanced filters, you need to press the advanced filters button in the middle of the screen. First, you need to select a column you wish to filter. So if we select crawl depth, leave it at equals, and then select two, we can see there are 225 results. And then we apply the filter. There's our results. You can remove any filter you have in place by clicking the red clear filter button in the middle. You can also apply multiple filters on as many columns as you want and even toggle the and slash or option to add flexibility to your filter. You can export the results of any URL list into CSV format or to Google Sheets. Click the big green export button on the right of the screen. For more in-depth guides, please check out the Sitebulb website or follow us on YouTube.